Okay, now let's do the name David in Descript. Now one letter that we've seen for the first time is the V here. Now the V is a, can get a little difficult at times. So the standard V is kind of a, it's a normal V shape. Um, when it, no, very often it ends up on a word line. So you'll have some kind of letter like an M coming down. Or, and you would actually never have MV, I'm sorry, but that's a horrible example. But you get the idea. It usually builds onto a word line. It also can build into a character. Now, when you separate it from the word line, the V becomes exactly as it is in the normal alphabet. It's a V. So, if this is an E and you want to put a V in it, you can do this. That's EV, because the V is inside the E. If you wish to have VE, you can actually also do this. And this becomes VE looks a little better when you put the circle coming right to the bottom of the V though, like so. But you get the idea. So the V is actually just a normal V, but it very often comes off looking more like an arrow. Uh, you can also add the word line for preference. If a word starts with V, for example, VI, if that started a word, this could be VI, or you could do this if you like. But this you have to be careful, because as soon as you have these three lines, if it doesn't look like they're an arrow, if for some reason when you draw them they start to look like that, now that's a W, because that's a triple dash. Okay, so let's look at the word David. Simplest way to connect these little words. D, A. Add a word line. Connect to the, the normal point is here, this is the secondary point. Secondary point, is, and the A is actually used more often than the, the normal point, actually. D-E-V-I-D. -E okay, actually, I should have used the more basic version. You should draw a full D under the, the I if you want to call it the simplest version. Now let's start to connect these in ways that, that simplify it. So, the D, we can connect this into there. D-A. Remember, when you're using Ds, the thing that separates it from being an L. This is an L, this is a D. But if the word line continues like in an M, what makes the D different? Well, it's long. The L is a dash, and this goes very wide. If you have to be clear and you don't have the option, suppose you're twisting it or contorting it, and you don't have the ability to make it very clear that they're different lengths, or that one is very long, then you can always add the top D dash as an extra to the bar, and that becomes a D, a very clear D, and a completely unambiguous D. So you can add it, but it's not necessary here. Now, V, V, V could be added like that, but you can also add V to an A like that. Now, I also, when you draw the I, you can connect it to a V like that. You have to be clear that it's a broken circle, that it's not a full circle, otherwise it can start to become like an O, especially if you're drawing fast. When you draw your Vs fast, and if you connect it at the bottom like that, Especially if this line goes a little bit too far, that looks like VE now, or something completely different. It's not a VI. So this option takes some care. It tends to take a while longer to write. Now you can add the D like this, but when D ends a word after a vowel, it's not necessary. Why? Because there's only two characters that are long horizontal bars. The D and the H. Sorry. The D and the H. Now, why do I know this is not an H? because it would have that. An H that is not optional, you must have that dash at the bottom of the H, unless the H is starting a word. So, this is also David. Now let's try to make this stuff look nice. We could also try adding the V over here. Um, now the I becomes a bit of an issue. You can try to dry the I over into that connection point, but it's hard to make sure that looks well. Um, otherwise, if you close it, it looks like an O. If you leave it open and you're not round enough, it'll look like a V. So you have to be very careful with that. And then we could connect that like that. That works okay. We could also just go long and horizontal. David, uh, remember, Descript can be rotated 90 degrees, and almost all the letters work perfectly, just as well as they do. There are some letters that require slight modifications, but for those letters, it is in the manual how to use them in that way. And if it's not... Well, be creative, and remember, the only rule when you're creating your own Descript combinations is it cannot be ambiguous with anything previous. So just look at the previous letters and their combinations. As long as it never looks like any other possible possibility, you can use it. So, David in a box, like a Chinese character. There we go. Shorten it up. More or less a Chinese character box. You can build it into any shape or size you like. 